Bloons TD6 is a game that gives players almost infinite options to take on waves of Bloons, including the incredibly powerful hero units. While all of them are powerful, not all of them are equally strong. I'm Will from Game Rant, and today we're ranking every hero in Bloons TD6. Number 15. Azili. The biggest negative about Azili is that she requires sacrifices in order to power up, which is completely useless on higher difficulties. She can put hexes on Moabs, but with other heroes who can instantly destroy them, her ability feels a bit underwhelming. Azili is extremely disappointing, especially since there doesn't seem to be a situation in which she rises above the rest. Number 14. Admiral Brickhell. Admiral Brickhell has one fairly obvious weakness. She needs water in order to be played on the map at all. Without a body of water, she isn't even able to step onto the map, let alone make any sort of impact. This used to be balanced by her great bonus when in play, but she has since been nerfed and as such falls down the list. Number 13. Captain Churchill. Captain Churchill immediately suffers from needing a long straight path in order to be effective, which many complex maps just don't have. On top of that, Churchill is really expensive when compared to other heroes who are far more effective. Players will find that upgrading towers is usually more effective unless presented with a long straight path. Number 12. Quincy. Quincy is a fantastic hero to have early on, but unfortunately falls a bit flat in the late game. He has early camo targeting and can easily get you past level 10, but later in the game he falls into just being average. Number 11. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn was certainly a top contender when the game first released, but unfortunately fell off a bit after updates. However, what made her so good is still there. She is great at damage over time when placed near the start of the map, which increases as she levels up. Gwendolyn can also support nearby towers to inflict the same kind of damage, so she's definitely worth a try. Number 10. Striker Jones. Striker Jones is a great transition from early to late game. He boosts mortar towers and bomb shooters and does some great area damage on his own. He starts to lose a bit of power once other towers start being used, which for many players is early on in game. Number 9. Pat Futsy. Pat Futsy isn't anything special on his own, but as a support unit, he is arguably one of the best in the game. He can be placed either on land or in water, which is great, plus he can instantly take down Moab targets. Depending on the player's tower preference, Pat Futsy can be a game changer. Number 8. ETN. ETN goes from being not that great at the start to being amazing once he hits level 10. At level 10, he unlocks the UCAV, which flies all over the map dealing damage. Plus, he can make it so every tower can see camo balloons, which is a nice boost for players who don't want to solely invest in taking those down. Number 7. Psy. Psy early on is similar to an early sniper tower, incredibly slow but with unlimited range. With his upgrades though, he becomes a force to be reckoned with. With a simple button push, Psy can destroy every enemy on the map, meaning that those who can cover the early waves can beat almost anything. Number 6. Open Greenfoot. Druid towers are still powerful, although not as powerful as they once were. Open Greenfoot depends on druids to be played optimally, meaning that he too has fallen off a bit. That doesn't mean he's not good though, as the maps that druids thrive on are excellent for open. Number 5. Benjamin. Once upon a time, Benjamin was the worst hero in the game since he caused balloons to be worth less cash when destroyed. However, now that his ability doubles the amount of cash instead of having it, he's jumped to the top tier. His one stipulation is needing a healthy stream of experience, but players who can supply that are rewarded with plenty of cash to face down the waves. Number 4. Sada. Out of every hero in the game, Sada easily does the most damage. Her range isn't anything special, but when placed on a U-turn can easily carry the player until mid-game while they farm bananas. She's still situational, but Sada can absolutely carry a run on the right map. Number 3. Adora. Adora has the benefit of essentially being a limitless ninja monkey. She is easily able to cover the entire map with her shots and is great for the map that springs enemies in new places. Number 2. Geraldo. Geraldo was the best hero at launch, and has held that spot despite many patches. His greatest strength is simple, players can buy whatever they need from him to defeat the current wave. He doesn't have a weakness to exploit, and the right tower setup can really boost him even more. Number 1. Corvus. The newest addition to the game and the best hero, Corvus tops our list. He has a variety of abilities which use mana, which he constantly gains from popping balloons. 
This mana can also be used to level Corvus up, which only makes him stronger. Once players learn how to best use him and his abilities, Corvus becomes the best hero in Bloons. That was our ranking of every hero in Bloons TD6. For more games and articles like this, remember to drop by GameRant.com. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.